Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we're having another Scotch whiskey from Tumnawulin. And it's called Tumnawulin Pinot Noir Edition. It's a relatively nice whiskey from the, what, what do they call it? Red wine cask edition. It's the number three. So they already had two, um, two of these red wine uh, casks and now they have the third one and oh they even say where the, the Pinot Noir came from usually you think Pinot Noir yeah comes from Fra France but uh, I think it's a type of grape and it's just called Pinot Noir and it is this time it's from Germany it's a German Pinot Noir cask finish 40% ABV and uh, yeah red wine cask edition it's a space side Tom the Woolen is from the space side and here i'm not sure if you can read the german one but at the bottom here is the number three and it's a uh, relatively easy priced i would say um there is a german name for the um for the for the um for the pinot noir we call it Spätburgunder, which is just uh, a different name to it Tam the Wollen is uh, Gaelic, I think, and it, it means the mill in the hills. So many of the dis old distilleries were came from mills where where all the the grain was transported to. So that was a perfect place to, you know, just put a, a still next to it to conserve some of the uh, some of the harvest in the water of life uh, yeah well in the lock yeah that's where the talum uh, the wooden comes from it's a cask finish unfortunately uh we don't have any dates uh of uh, when it was filled when it was bottled or any ages Oh, but here's something else. Uh, the type of cask, we have more information, even more information. American oak, oh, before it was an American oak and then Pinot Noir red wine cask. So yeah, it was to be expected if you have a finish that it was an American oak cask beforehand. Hmm. Oh, it's a wonderful, mm, wonderful. Just before that, I had a a whiskey with a very very heavy red wine cask maturation this here is more of a light one this is a, a bit of a also a bit of a bourbon touch to it but a lot of fresh juicy fruits it's uh, almost a little bit syrup like and it's, mm, nicely nicely sweet but not in a in a candy sweet overtone um, sweetness but uh, a deep tone like uh, like a syrup and it's very very juicy cherries sherry um, cher cherries um, maybe a bit of citrus juice a very mild not uh, not acidic orange juice comes to mind these, these kids orange juices without any acidity in it mm -hmm. I like them sometimes it's just in the morning it's just very nice if you don't have something <laughs> in your mouth that that has so much acidity that that's really nice mm. 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 the taste is much much more intense and much much more oak heavy you do have a bitterness in there it feels like european oak the juiciness is there but it's countered with a lot of oak a lot of oh, a lot of cask mm -hmm. and it's a uh, from from the taste i would say it's one of these heavy wines and the other one from this from the nose i would have expected a just a very light fruity wine 
So it's much, much different than the nose, than in, in taste. And the taste we do have are spiciness, bittersweetness, but also some, some fruits are still in there. Mm. Mm. I was more in the mood of a, a very light and gentle whiskey. Now I have got that heavy, strong, bitterness, oak, French oak, spiciness, mm. ginger, mm. dark grapes, matured wine. Mm. In my mouth, I really expected something. Oh, expected something different. Mm. So it's light in the nose and heavy in the taste. Mm. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a roller coaster whiskey. Mm. Mm. Very nice, very nice. And it's a relatively inexpensive one for such a, yeah, for such a nice whiskey because on paper with a pinot noir finish with a, a tamnavolin i would have expected much more in in germany it's around 25 euros maybe it's a bit more expensive around uh, other places i can't expect it to be less than that but uh very very good price for such a, a nice whiskey unfortunately no age statement so yeah there comes a bit of a tone to it didn't have any youth or metallic stuff in there that comes with underage whiskey so it was it was good enough mm -hmm. so yeah that was it for this week uh, for this day <laughs> thank you very much for watching and see you next time